Good morning. I just woke up and obviously I'm making some coffee. My mug selection today is the Narwhals. Love this mug. Um, yeah, I haven't had coffee yet, so you can't really expect much out of me at this point, but I'm gonna get that going now. Oh, okay. I'm not just playing this up. This is so good. One of the best lattes I've made. Ooh, yeah, baby. Ugh. Yeah. Now I'm just making some pancakes. Yep. Batter doesn't look like much, but hey, it'll be tasty. I'm not really hungry right now, but I'm gonna go do a workout with Randy today, so I wanna eat something. And I don't really like to eat that close to a workout, so um, yeah, it's like an hour and a half before I'm gonna go. And so I wanna eat now, even though I don't really feel like it. You gotta eat, you gotta eat. So that's what we're doing. And yeah, anyways, I'm just making one big pancake because I didn't want to have to like flip a bunch of little ones. That's the full reason. There's no others. Also with a full pancake, like with a stack, if you pour syrup over the top, I guarantee those middle pancakes, they are sad, dry, lonely, you know. They only have their pancake companions, but no syrup gets to them. And so honestly, like a big pancake makes sense. You can guarantee full syrup coverage so, and you flip less times. So next time you're making pancakes, ask yourself, why are you making a stack? It's society telling you that's what you should do. In reality, a big pancake makes a lot of sense. So just. Okay, I decided I'm gonna try the flip where you just flip it with the pan. So I'm really going all out today. You know, testing myself, seeing what I'm capable of. It's on the edge, it's it's not ready. I'm not gonna push it to be ready before it's ready. You know, things take time. Let this pancake run its own course. I keep drinking this, thinking that it's not gonna be as good the further I get in. And it's just better. And oh, it's so good. I'm gonna try this pancake again. It's gonna be burnt on the other side and I'm just gonna have to show it to you. It really does not seem all that ready to flip. Oh! It's actually not burnt, it's like golden. I like it like that, so. Yay! Celebratory coffee sip. This is the full syrup coverage that I desire. Also, usually I would put a ton of toppings on this, but I just really don't want to have an upset stomach during this workout. So just keeping it simple today. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. I have decided to wear shorts. It's 33 degrees. This might be a bad decision, but I am owning it. I will live with it for the rest of my life. And I feel pretty good about it. Fully aware that it's not really a good idea, but I love running in shorts. And I love running in tights, but not as much as I love running in shorts. So am I gonna sacrifice how much I love the run for warmth of my legs? Not today. I will not be sacrificing that today. I'm not saying this to encourage other people to make the same decision. I actually would encourage you to not make the same decision because it's objectively a bad decision. Not even subjectively, objectively. People could agree, bad decision. 
yet here I am, happy with it, living with it, owning it. And that's what I encourage you to do. Own your bad decisions. If you're going to make them, own them. To right, we're doing a trail workout. And I'm so excited. These are, these are really nice, by the way. Brooks Catamount. I've worn them before and I really like them. They're like a, a Hyperion Tempo, but for trails, so pretty sick. And yeah, very excited for this trail workout. What'd you say? What kind of trail terrain are we talking about? We're talking about a nice little 900 meter loop with a, a sizable hill in the middle of it. Oh, <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> What did you expect? I don't know, like nice, soft, like beautiful rolling hills, you know, mostly downhill, net downhill. Net downhill, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If we start and stop at the same point, <laughs> net downhill is possible, That's yes. Oh, you're going to make me hurt so badly. It's going to be terrible. But he's got but, some nice new trail oh, shoes. Check it out, the burgundy trail shoes. Ooh, yeah. Also, I have uh, the duck socks. Ooh as well as catamounts. And Randy has got this American flag sock trail Pegasus thing. It, it's the look. Okay, so we're doing a trail workout today. I love trails. Because we have a very exciting trail goal for this summer that I don't think anyone will be able to guess. Like, there's pretty much no way anyone would know what it was. <laughs> I've never given a single hint. Unless you are in my immediate circle of friends, you will have zero idea. Because we do talk about it a lot in our yeah, immediate circle. Talking about, talk about it all the time. But anyways, if you want to take a stab at it, uh, go ahead and comment down below what you think our exciting trail goal is for this summer. It's going to be fun. If you get it right, I'll seek you out and give you a high five. <laughs> no matter where you are, you will Anywhere get that high five. Anywhere in the world. <laughs> All right, with only 17 or 18 wrong turns, we found our way to the start of our little loop. And there's a port of potty right at the start. The this perfect workout loop. It's the best day of my life. <laughs> I'm gonna immediately put this to use. <laughs> I don't know how many of y'all are from Seattle, but I've never been to Discovery Park before. This place is so cool. Look at that. We got the water. We got the mountains. We got trails. <laughs> It'll be a great clip. That's what we're going for here. <laughs> hard but the good hard I love trails because I feel like pace just goes out the window it's all about feel and just pushing yourself oh it's nice Nice. How did it go? It was hard. Just finished number six. And Randy had to go change his shoes. But he's back. He's back. It's, it's gotten exponentially harder since really? you left. The oh, the hill feels twice as long. Oh, great. That's all I'd love to hear. <laughs> All right, I guess I was gonna be done, but Randy's back, so I gotta do one more. More! Uh. <laughs> Come on, the end! Uh. 
That's a wrap. The hill. The hill, it gets me, but it feels good. Some cross country stuff right there. Yeah. You know, I really thought I was done after the sixth one, but. But we got number seven. We got a seventh. I also think this is probably the first time I've ever done an odd number of reps well, in a workout. Like, that just seems wrong. Yeah, that means we gotta do another one. No, no. We gotta do eight now. Seven is it. It's not an odd number. <laughs> no, odd numbers are life today. <laughs> I love them. All right. But, anyways, it felt really good. It was fun to do something on the trails, de emphasize pace a little bit, just emphasize effort, getting ready for that big goal. The big goal. The big goal that you guys it's don't coming. know, but it, yeah, <laughs> it exists. Workout done, but we're gonna do some hill sprints right along oh. the water because how could we not? Oh, when the, this is the view we have. The Olympics are out today too. We can really see them. So nice. Oh man. But yeah, we're gonna sprint up this hill right here. from SPU and I have just had an incredible day. I mean, it is just beautiful out. And like I said in the last video, that makes me so happy. I had so much fun um, just running trails today. And then I was outside for like three hours, just like a salamander soaking up the sun. It is like 35 degrees, but it doesn't matter. It's nice. But anyways, I just got home and I was like, yeah, I really need groceries, but I can't go inside gotta stay out here so I'm walking to the store now and uh, yeah that's all for now folks <laughs>